An Albuquerque firefighter will have his biggest battle yet tomorrow. He's undergoing an intense and rare three day surgery to remove a, remove a brain tumor. But as News 13 Selena Westervelt reports, he already has some luck on his side thanks to the Mega Millions lottery. Selena? Jessica, the chances of getting this kind of tumor are rare. It's found in only 2% of people. But 24 year old Vincent Cordova's luck is changing. I'm nervous. I'm, I'm, I'm scared. Tonight, Vincent Cordova is resting in California with his family, preparing for three very long days of surgery, and it all starts tomorrow. I got these butterflies in my stomach. It just won't leave. My stomach keeps turning. I just want to sleep, not think about it. But I'm hanging in there, trying to stay active. Cordova has a deadly brain tumor. It's squeezing his jugular vein and is costly to remove. The surgery alone is more than a million dollars. Plus, Cordova has to stay in California for about two months and then undergo at least six months of physical therapy. He could lose the ability to swallow and breathe on his own, and there's a chance he might not survive. But yesterday, he got some very good news. Firefighters at Station 8 got a small slice of the Mega Millions jackpot pie, hitting five of the six numbers correctly. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. So uh, then we went and looked on the internet and, and confirmed it was 10,000. Lieutenant Kiefer says the ticket was a spur of the moment idea and purchased just 20 minutes before ticket sales stopped. They didn't even watch the drawing. We were just eating dinner and uh, I had forgotten about it because what are the chances of winning? But they did and they're giving some of the winnings to Cordova. I can't believe that the fireman bond is so strong, his brotherhood is so strong and that these guys won this amount of money and they want to help one of their brothers out. Cordova says if his brothers can win 10 grand in the lotto, he's sure to make a full recovery. Praying for Vincent, sure. Yes, we are, all the time. He's a great guy. I just want to tell everyone thank you for standing by me and staying strong. Uh, thank you, everyone, for believing in me. I will see you guys soon. Now, tomorrow, Cordova checks in for a minor surgery in California. Then he'll have another on Tuesday that will take about four hours, and the big ones on Wednesday, which will take at least 10 hours. He says he's very thankful for everyone who's helped him get this far and hopes they'll keep the prayers coming. Jessica? All right, thank you, Selena. Community members are hosting a number of different fundraisers to help Vincent Cordova and his family. To find out more or to donate, just log on to krqe.com and look under news links. A family that lost their home in a crash Friday.